Good morning, friends. Welcome to Gardening with Creekside. Today, we're going to go on an adventure, a day here at Creekside Nursery in Dallas, North Carolina. It is already getting started with quite a bang back here behind me. We are pouring concrete yet again here at a production. So we have that going on. It's not even eight o'clock in the morning yet. And these guys are up and at them and ready to go. We have, I think, three different truck deliveries today. We've got more Proven Winter annuals that are coming. We've got uh, some finished product that is going to go for the Garden Center for our opening day this Saturday, February 17th. I don't really know what else is happening, but there is a ton going on. So we're just going to kind of take you through the day with us, uh, a little bit of a vlog style of a day, just life here at Creekside. So first things first, concrete. What are we doing? Well, as you know, right, we have, just as a little bit of a recap here, we have these two production houses, and then this is dry storage. Behind there is our, what we call the annex. It is the home to all of our online shipping orders. That's where they get fulfilled. And then over here on the other side, we have the new greenhouse that right now is primarily uh, the plants for our gardens and the retail garden center. We get deliveries all the time. Like today, we get, we're getting three. So we need a way to be able to easily transport um, plants from this facility to this facility. Also, when these truck deliveries come, it, we need a, an easier way to unload them because we can get tractor trailers, we can get what we call like little short squatty trucks, we can get all sorts of things. Here's the man of the hour right there, big boss man. And so what they're doing is, of course, we have our friends uh, from Carolina Landscaping and Construction, the Parker guys, they are here pouring some concrete to make our life a little easier. So let's, let's kind of go up here and see. They have things framed out for the first section. Um, the main thing that they're doing right now, first truck is here. I'm not sure how many trucks are coming today. So when the tractor trailers will pull up, we are creating, quote, a landing pad right where Jackson is standing. I want to say that's a 10 by 10. I could be wrong on that. Um, so the idea is that the tractor trailers pull up right here where I am. They can back up put their lift gates down. It's a nice flat spot and we will have um, this square right here for, the, for us to unload. As you can see, we then will have a sidewalk going down and then where Justin and the boys are down there, there'll be the concrete sidewalk that then goes into the door of the greenhouse. So that way we can easily roll carts and wagons and all the things right there. Uh, so Ernest is, he is great with Jackson. Jackson absolutely loves working with the Parker guys. And so this is, they have their little buggies and so they fill it up with the concrete and then Ernest hops on and he hauls it wherever it needs to go because uh, obviously the concrete truck is not gonna go down here. So they start at the bottom and then they're gonna work their way up. Jackson is his uh, assistant to today. So then we have this pad right here, right? Um, so we can take carts either that way. And then if we need to, we can also then, which we will, to take plants from um, the new production greenhouse up to the dry storage, the annex and all that. So on the other side of the concrete truck here, and I'll show you that. So it'll go right all the way here. And then here we go on the other side of the truck. Here we go all the way around. And then we can then come in and have a nice pad right there. This pad also here will help. So when we get, like you can see, for example, we've got um, grass seed here. Of course, this is where we keep the um, extra fertilizers and stuff. So we do get deliveries up here quite a lot as well. This will give us another nice flat pad that when the trucks come, they can just put their lift gate down right there and wheel it off. Makes it super simple. Of course, we have the pallet jacks. They're around here somewhere. I was thinking we'll have to get Jerry's um, on camera on here for a second. 
but I was thinking that we were going to have, are we going to do the sidewalk to these other houses? Right. We're not, okay. So we're not going to do that. That was, we talked about doing that, but decided not to do that, I guess. So that is what is happening right now. So we'll uh, just watch the fun as it, uh, the concrete truck works. So the second truck, uh, first truck is gone, second truck is here, and they are loading it up. I tell you, these fellas that make quick work of this concrete. You can't mess around with concrete, man. You gotta pour it and go for it. Uh, so it is looking great. They are just finishing up that last pour right there in front of dry storage. So they will fill that up. But I mean, yeah, already it just looks fantastic. This is gonna be so nice. Um, for a, a whole lot of reasons. One that uh, I noticed right away as a mother, a female, I don't know, I think you ladies would understand is notice that the sidewalk right there and of course the middle of all the red mud. So I was like, oh man, that'll help so much keeping uh, all of the, <laughs> the soil being tracked into the greenhouse because hopefully, you know, for the most part, people will walk more on the sidewalk than in in the you know the natural area. And of course, we're going to come back and we will you know Jerry will come back and grade this so it's nice and smooth. Because when you're digging out and forming, you know you have to you know you make a bit of a mess. So he will come back, smooth that out, and either you know put gravel around the side of it or mulch or something like that. So it's not just going to be sitting out here exposed to. Um, <laughs> The natural red clay soil here but getting it nice and floated nice and smooth i mean it is a sidewalk it is not anything um you know fancy and and bougie and spectacular but man when you have little things like this it's the small things of the infrastructure that just make an absolute huge difference um everything that runs just a little smoother a little easier just um makes a big difference in how you move and how you move plants and so forth and all that other stuff so it is great they're going to finish up here the uh, truck that has the perennials is on its way so it will be here in just a little bit our friends at panoramic farms bringing us some great retail ready product so we will as soon as they get here we'll head down to the retail garden center uh, get all that stuff unloaded I'll show you a couple of the goodies that we have in there. And then we are waiting on the truck also from Pleasant View Gardens with the annuals. We have more for the garden center and more for online. And then when they get here, I want to, of course, we'll show you those. I also want to give you an update on how things are growing in the greenhouse because, uh, man, they are jumping and have a, a exciting little thing that I can't really show you, but can show you, but I can't show you. That makes any kind of sense. So just another busy day here at the Creekside Nursery. Uh, I don't even think it's nine o'clock yet. And so <laughs> getting all sorts of fun things just checked off the list this morning. 
Alrighty, my friends. So the morning continues. The concrete guys are have all finished up. They're just kind of smoothing some things out, waiting for the concrete to set. And then looky here, our friends from Panoramic Farm just arrived and we're starting to unload. Uh, so we're going to take a little look, see, I'm going to just kind of give you an idea and then I'm going to stop help them get everything unloaded and then we'll take a, a, a closer look as to what is on this order. Going to go ahead and putting some things closer on the front of the greenhouse. Of course we open up on Saturday so we want things to look as nice and inviting as possible. With um, the great thing about Panoramic is of course they are just uh, they're friends of ours. Great growers. They are, their products are just phenomenal and another North Carolina company. We were actually there in last year, maybe last spring. And so we did a tour of that. I'll try to remember to link that for you so you can see their facilities. It is just phenomenal. Right here, what they've got unloading is some gardenias. Those are the Diamond Spires by Southern Living. Just a really fun columnar gardenia it does classic, of course, gardenia blooms and it smells divine. So putting those there, and then I don't know if you can see up there, gorgeous hellebores. So we will look at those here in just a minute. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get all of these unloaded. And then when we're finished unloading, I will give you a little, little quick, little quick tour of the beautiful plants that we're getting uh, from our friends at Panoramic. We got, we got the truck unloaded, my friends. And oh my gosh, they are gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> Poor Jerry, my poor husband. Um, you know, plants come off the truck and I'm like, ooh, we need to add that to the garden. Oh man, that's gorgeous. We're gonna add that to the garden. So <laughs> let me show you what Jenny's gonna be adding to her garden. Uh, <laughs> at least one of each, right? Cause you gotta have a, a diversity in the garden. Um, look at these hellebores. They are stunning. All of these are gonna be part of the Frost Kiss series. Um, so let me just kind of give you an example here um, of a tag. So here we have the tag Lenten Roses, of course, a hellebore. This is the Frost Kiss Moon Dance. Obviously going to have a nice, pretty white um, flower on it. Look at that, y'all. Is that not just beautiful? So the Frost Kisses um, are kind of known because of their the variegation uh, in, in their leaves. So that makes it really unique against other hellebores. Um, so there is the moon dance. Then I absolutely adore this one. This one is Pippa's Purple. Um, just a really kind of a smoky purple, um, more of a mauve than like a true, I guess, purple you would say. But I mean, y'all look at those are they not just stunning they are going to fly out of here um, if you are not familiar with hellebores linton roses they are the first plants really to bloom in in the garden um, they are a true perennial other than maybe i would say like a camellia here in the south they are definitely going to be one of the earliest ones that are going to be blooming here we have, this is Penny's Pink. So you can see a little bit of a difference here um, of those colors. Really, I mean, just stunning, y'all. Love these, but they're gonna be naturally deer resistant because they have a really tough um, leaves and texture to them, but just, they are long blooming. And when I say long blooming for a perennial, really about like six weeks. So hellebores, classic, they love the cold. So they are extremely adaptable. I wanna say zones five to nine, um, six to nine. So a hellebore is hardy in zones six to nine. They can be blooming and have snow all over them. So once they start blooming, you are good to go. Extremely hardy. The rest of the growing season, you will just, or the rest of the year rather, you will have the foliage. And the frost kiss, that variegated foliage, is just gorgeous. Of course, we talked about when they were coming off the diamond spire gardenias from our friends at Southern Living. This is a columnar uh, gardenia, it has a, what I call like a single bloom, so it's not a double bloom. Very upright habit to it, hardy in zones seven to 10. 
you put them in a container. Uh, of course, gardenias are full sun to part sun, three to four tall, two feet wide. But they also have really fun um, foliage on them, like their little leaves, very glossy and very like a button-like kind of you know leaf shape on them. And then in the greenhouse, we brought some of these guys in here. We have the Cat's Pajamas Nepeta from Proven Winners. They are, they have broken dormancy. They've been outside. We went ahead and grabbed them even though they are still just coming back from dormancy. Um, you can see that just a little bit of green foliage on them as of right now, but these are so popular. Like we cannot keep these in stock. We can't grow enough. We can't buy enough. Our customers just love this because it is a great nepeta. It blooms early, beautiful blue flowers on it. So we have, uh, we have the first batch of those and then we got some uh, Eucharist. So we have three different ones. This is um, caramel, caramel, however you want to say it. Uh, gorgeous. Are these not just so pretty, nice and flushed out? These are one gallons. I mean, this is why we love panoramic because they just do an amazing job with all of their plants. So you've got the um, caramel and then you've got the proven winners. This is the Dolce. This is the silver gumdrop. I think you can tell why it got its name. Just that beautiful, um, like a silver overlay of the purple, nice big leaves. These are all going to be in that Velosa species. So the Velosas are, um, native to the southeast United States and I say that's why it's important. I like to really try to only get Velosa um, breeding from with the Eucharist because they can handle the heat and the humidity. That's what we deal with all the time. So here at Creekside I really try to only get the Velosas. Um, it is just they just do really well here. So um, if it's not a Velosa, then it's one that I have tested out and it can handle the heat and humidity, but love this. And then bless their hearts, we took two of their last Georgia peaches. So uh, whoever gets here first, you can have Georgia peach. And I love Georgia peach. And <laughs> so I had, I was gonna get like 20 of them, but by the time I got my order in, they only had two left. So Georgia peach is such a fun, nice a peachy color. Of course, got has that a little bit of that veining in it. So really fun. Obviously, since it is a Georgia peach, uh, it too will have that Velosa uh, bloodline in it. So they will do great here in the South. Now, uh, we are waiting to hear about Panoramic, not Panoramic, Pleasant View. And so we're waiting on them. We thought they were coming today, but hadn't heard. So we're just, I think Jerry's calling right now to check on them. The day continues here at Creekside and uh, yeah, so moving on to the next thing. See you in just a second. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon and we are still waiting on the truck from Pleasant View. It's supposed to be here around 2.30. So hopefully they will make it this afternoon so we can get those plants unloaded and get them settled in to the greenhouse. While we're waiting on the Pleasant View truck, I thought I would give you an update here in the greenhouse on some of the plants that we have potted up. And we did get, now this delivery was yesterday, unboxed it, some of it this afternoon, a uh, nice big order from our friends at Walters Gardens, of course, who is the home to the Proven Winter Annuals. And all of these plants are gonna be for the Retail Garden Center. The online perennials, I think, come next week. Um, so we have got a nice selection of plants here there are some that are in trays, like this, for example, is a Brunnera. Um, then we have a Pulmonaria. We have got Heaven Scent and so forth. So you can see we even have some Dianthus that is blooming. This is Paint the Town Fuchsia. So they are good to go. And then underneath, all of these boxes are going to be bare root, which they could be, their salvias in here. There's um, flocks, there were daylilies, all sorts of things in there. So we'll have to get those potted up ASAP. So that is the deal with those. Give you an update on uh, the annuals. Uh, at the beginning, I kind of gave a little, uh, a little teaser -roo about, had something uh, fun to show you. So I can show it to you from a distance 
but not up close yet because I have not been given the green light to talk about them. So let me move a little further away right quick. Uh, but I think you can see that uh, over here in this first section, do you see all those blues? Those are the blue tags for the new introductions for next year, the 2025s. So these are annuals that will come out onto the market next year. There are some really fun things in there, y'all. Um, once Proven Winners gives me the green light, probably in a couple of weeks, then we will reveal those. But yeah, lots of fun, I'm telling you. So they always send us which is really nice because since we are um, a grower, they will send those new introductions to us as the liners, right? So just like we get all of our other annuals, they come to us as little liners. That way we know how they grow, not just how they perform in the garden, but how do they perform for us as the grower in the garden center, right? And, and in this production facility. So they always send us um, the current annual of the year, which this year is, you know, Jazzberry. And then they send us next year's annual of the year, which uh, I know what next year's annual of the year is, but not gonna tell you what it is. So those are in there. And then of course, lots of fun new introductions. Really exciting. You're gonna love them, I promise. Now. We just got finished potting up our plants. These are the ones all the way for the garden, right? And not a whole lot to tell you on these annuals. They're, they're growing, they're happy, they're, they're doing well. Not much has changed because it's only been, um, I think a week since we got them potted up. But one of the biggest ones that I've noticed as far as the growth is, of course, the rockin' play in the blues. So it is in this little section right here, and it by far is one of the biggest plants thus far. So those salvias, I'm telling you, they are amazing. What is going really well is down here, you were with me when I potted up the uh, new intros for the perennials. So they are, they are doing quite nicely. For example, look at this uh, firefly. <laughs> Red pop Achillea. Remember when I potted it up, it was all bare root and there was no green growth. It is doing quite well, very happy. And uh, that webmaster, the trend, yeah, so that's the spider's wart. It's doing well. So we have it both in a, we have it in gallon and we have it in the, um, the quart size. So everything's doing nice is the hostas are slowly because you know of course they take it takes a little bit of time for the hostas to come up so they're not doing too much really and um yeah so everything's doing really well there is an iris right here that is doing nicely so it has come up so lots of fun things of course are going on in here and then what you can really see the difference in growth is we're going to head over right quick to the production number two greenhouse because, let me turn this way, there we go. Uh, production two, that was the very first greenhouse that we put the annuals in. Um, Miss B is here. Everybody will always ask where Britta Boo is. So she is in Johnny. <laughs> Since the uh, concrete is finished it is still damp and we cannot walk on it for 24 hours uh, i do not need her to run through the concrete that would not be good we might have a dead dog on our hands so that and a dead jenny so can't do that before we go into the greenhouse right quick show you the final the final concrete product here um really nice so yes can't walk on it for 24 hours and then we can't drive on it for a week so it is uh yeah it's doing great jerry of course will backfill all the way up here with gravel so when the you know because ups comes through here we come through here the front side will be gravel maybe even the back side will be gravel too i'm not sure what his plans are and then of course down through here will be mulch but yeah 
it is all done and it looks great. It is just going to be a lovely, lovely, wonderful addition. All right, so there's that. Now, make our way up here to the greenhouse because there are some beautiful, there's some beautiful flowers that are popping up and showing and um, they definitely give you spring fever and you're like, okay, because it feels like spring out here. Let me tell you, it's like freezing in the morning, like literally freezing. And then in the day, it's like going to be like 60 something today. So it's great. All right. Give you an overview. So all of these plants are the first wave for the online orders. Not quite ready yet. So just for you to have a bit of a reference point, they will be ready to ship when their roots have filled out the cup. So that's what we have to wait on. The roots to fill out the cup and weather, right? So weather sending them out from us to you. Um, but just to give you a little bit of the teaser, a little update, not a teaser, an update. This is the Catalina Pink. This is the new improved one for this year. It is a Terminia. It has some of the biggest, fattest blooms on it. Sun or shade, it is a beautiful annual Act. as a trailer or you put it in the landscape and it acts as a ground cover. So love that. Of course, the Nemesias, right? So you've got the coconut and the aromance right there. They're always some of the first ones to bloom. So they are doing quite nicely. The um, Selenia apricot. Look at this, y'all. That begonia. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, so, so pretty. And then here is the chocolate orange. Still that Selenia. Nice dark foliage to it. And the flower is not really what I would, I mean, yes, it's kind of orangey and maybe it'll, it'll change as it gets older, but it looks almost like a, like a tropical color. I don't know what the quite coral kind of idea. And then we have some of our first petunias over here. Here we have the um, Bermuda Beach. So there's just one single flower right there for Bermuda, Bermuda Beach. Beautiful one. And then, of course, one of my all-time favorites, even though it's brand new this year, I loved it last year, the Saffron Finch. Just a gorgeous, true yellow flower. I see some red down here. This is maybe the Mini Vista. Yep, Mini Vista Scarlet. Look at that. Look how nice and tight that habit is. And then you're getting those flowers. Oh, it is so fun to come in here and see how everybody is doing. Just kind of give you a little bit of a pan over here. Lantanas, right? Lantanas pretty much hang out. They don't do a whole lot until it gets really warm and then they just like explode and just give us loads and loads of beautiful color um, throughout the entire growing season. So very excited about that. If Pleasant View comes, then I'll join back with you here in just a little bit. Uh, but I have got some errands to run this afternoon, so I'm hoping that they get here this afternoon so that I can see them and be here to help unload. But I am gonna sign off just in case they don't come. Uh, but if they do come, I'll meet you back here in just about two seconds. So as always, hope you found this fun, informative, and inspirational. Stay tuned or don't stay tuned. I don't know. <laughs> it's all a guessing game, y'all. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.